Okay, so I'm redoing this part of the video um, because I had to go through it a couple times, and each time I go through it, I solve one issue. My notes are a little out of date, um, so bear with me here, okay? Um, first thing is, I'm not running this portion of it as root. I'm going to run this within the user con context, pardon me. So we're installing Influx. Previously, we took the Ubuntu 18 install, we did the prerequisites, we installed Plex from the Ubuntu repository that Plex offers following their directions. We did some basic configuration, then we used Snap to install Tatuli and did some basic configurations. You can see that in the background. All right, now what we're doing is we're installing InfluxDB. InfluxDB is necessary for everything in terms of uh, gathering of data from Grafana. So again, we're following some basic information. It's readily available in the information. We're gonna add the Influx database and we're going to add the license key, or not license key, I'm sorry, the key for the database. Then we're going to do an apt update, and we're going to let it go out and pull the you know latest information on that. And when that's done, we'll install uh, InfluxDB. So just to kind of run you through what I was running into was, um, in my notes, I have installing the InfluxDB client separately from the InfluxDB. Apparently, the repository now includes both. So when you would do one, you get the other automatically. My error was I kept seeing, hey, you can't sell the DB client, but the DB client was always working for some reason. I couldn't quite piece it together until I went and looked at the logs and then I understood it. So next thing was um, during part of the setup, because we're going to utilize collect D, is configuring the influx DB config file for collect D. And in the process of doing that, I was kind of inputting information that doesn't exist yet. So when I go to start influx, it would crash. Uh, it'll, it'll run fine right now if I started it, but we would have to go back in and modify for collect D and whatnot. So instead of starting influx now, what I'm gonna do is get the actual install done and you know we'll, uh, we'll enable it so it starts on, you know, on its own during a reboot cycle, but I'm not actually gonna start the database or modify the config file just yet. Actually, correct that. I'll go ahead and modify the config file now because the next step is installing Collect-D and then we won't have to do that one step later on. So we've got it installed and if I look at systemctl at the status of InfluxDB we should be inactive. So we're going to go over to the folder, we're going to edit the config and a couple things we got to do in here. Um, first one is we got to find the HTTP tag and make sure that it's enabled. And so that's enabled, and we want to give it a port, and 8086 is default, so we'll leave it on that. Then we're going to go down to the Collect D. Now, here's what was screwing me up. When I turn this on, if Collect D isn't there, everything goes south on me. And I was dumb and didn't even put two and two together, and was like, oh crap. So, first thing we're going to do is we want to, we want to turn Collect D on within the database. We want to set a port. Uh, you can use the default, or you can do what I do, which is just you know each thing that's going to talk to it. I increment by one if possible. So AD6 was the default. AD1, AD6 is now this. And then we use the types DB. It doesn't give you one by default, but we know where to put it. Share collect D slash types DB. This is where that file is going to end up by collect DB. My problem is this was enabled, and when I start influx, it would yell at me because this types DB doesn't actually exist yet. So, those are the modifications necessary for influx to work. Next thing we want to do would be to enable influx so that it comes up on its own without me having to start it, and that's done. Now I'm going to kill this video. I'll come back. We'll do collect D. And when we do collect D, then we'll actually start um, in a flux as well.